Welcome to Good Tech Analytical Tutorial. Today we are going to solve three sum code coding problem. So give an array s of n integers, find three integers in s such that the sum is closest to a given number target. Return the sum of three integers. You may assume that each input will have exactly one solution. So for example, give an array s negative 1, 2, 1, negative 4, and target value is 1. The sum that is closest to the target is 2 because we can find three integers in this array, negative 1, 2, 1, they add up together to 2, and 2 is the closest sum to this target 1. So we return 2 as a closest sum for this example. So 3 sum closest is a follow-up question for 2 sum. 2 sum is a very, uh, very classical and very popular coding integral coding problem. So like when you have a real interview, and uh, you, uh, you are facing the two sum problem and you successfully solve it. And the interviewer maybe came up with the three sum code or three sum as a follow up question to further evaluate your coding skills and your computer science knowledge. So, here let's take a look at how to solve this three sum code coding problem. So, suppose we have this input array. That's a very simple one with only four numbers inside. So negative one, two, one, negative four, and target value is one. So our goal is to find the, the closest sum to this target. So from this simple example, we should uh, easily notice from our observation that the first three numbers, negative one, two, one, they add up together with a closest sum, and their sum is 2. That's a closest sum to this target 1. So how can we come up with a general solution? Uh, algorithm to work well with uh, any inputs. Like uh, if the input array has uh, thousands, millions, numbers, much more complicated than this simple example array. So how can we have an algorithm to find three numbers with the closest sum to the target. So that's a question. To find this uh, general algorithm, we can list some steps. So the first step we could do is that when we are facing an array, a good approach we could do is that we could sort this array first. So we sort this array in ascending order so that would be like this new order because the previous state is a random order and we sort it so that makes us feel better and then we can declare a variable let's call it as a closest sum so closest sum that's uh, at the beginning just the first three values add up together. So that's a lums zero plus lums one plus lums two. So first uh, three values, they add up together. We can use this uh, sum to initialize the closest sum value. So closest sum that's also the value we are going to return for this problem. So after we have this uh, code sum, we can then have an iteration. So have an iteration. So have an iteration. We are going to iterate each number in this sorted array. So like uh, have a for loop. So I just uh, start at the beginning and uh, going to the end of this array. So whenever we are visiting a number in this array, what should we do? We should do is that we are going to rest of the array. So except the, the number and the previous number be, before this, uh, uh, the number we are visiting, we are going to find the rest of our array, find the two number. In the rest of our array, 
with a add this number with a cosy sum to the target. So find two numbers in rest array. So with a sum plus this number closes to target. So this is in English. We need to convert this English sentence to a code, a machine readable code. So what should we do? Because this is becomes a find two numbers in array. So this becomes like a two sum problem. So for two sum problem, since this is a sorted array, we could have a use a two a popular two sum approach that's a two pointer to solve that. So what should we do is that we can declare two index variable. So left start just a i plus one precision and right would put at begin uh, at the end of the array. So while the while the left index is smaller than the right index, we are going to find two numbers. So what we should do is that we can have a, like a local variable called a sum. Sum is a, just a current variable, a current number we are visiting. That's a nums i plus nums left plus nums right. So we are going to check whether this sum is a closest to the target or previous closest sum is a close to the target. So we could um, compare the difference of this sum and the target, the absolute value, whether if that's a smaller than the previous closest sum minus target. So we compare the absolute value of uh, this new sum and uh, the, the difference of a new sum and the uh, target and the difference the absolute value of the difference of a previous closest sum and target. So if the current sum um, minus the target with a, a smaller absolute value, so that means the current sum is a more close to the target. So we need to update the closest sum to this new sum. Otherwise, we don't need to update this new uh, closest sum. And also, we need to decide the left and right index, the next position for left and right uh, index. So if the sum is smaller than target, so that means um, we can move the smaller number to the right, so that will increase our sum. Or if the sum is greater than target, we can move the right index left or forward, so decrease the bigger number, so make the sum smaller, more close to the target. So this while loop, this two-pointer approach is going to use to find two numbers in rest of array. So that's a, that's a machine-readable code to do this, uh, to achieve this goal. So after that, we will finally return this uh, code sum. So after iteration, we find the code sum to the target. So that's we find our solution. So the, this approach uh, is uh, very straightforward. So let's go back to the coding to solve this coding problem. So at the beginning, we can have some edge case check. So for this lead code coding problem, I have a, a check that 
that always an uh, input array is uh, always have uh, at least uh, three numbers. But for like a real coding, uh, you need to consider the edge case. So like if the input array is not a valid array, it's just null, or if the length of this array is smaller than three, so there are only like a one or two integers in array. In that case, we can return like a some like a uh, in, invalid uh, number. So like for the negative one. So then uh, we can do the sorting. So in Java, it's an array start sort. So we sort this array in ascending order. And then we can declare the closest sum, this variable, as we mentioned. So at the beginning, because uh, we already have an edge case check, so at least uh, three numbers in array. So we can use uh, this first uh, three numbers first uh, three numbers as uh, their sum for the initial value for the closest sum so that's a uh, num0 plus nums1 plus nums2 so their sum is the initial value to the closest sum and then we can have our just as a uh, our the third step to have a uh, iteration so iteration start from the beginning of the array and uh, go to the end of the array so for for the iteration that inside the iter uh, whenever we visiting a number we are going to have a while while loop so the left would start from the just right behind the current uh, current number we are waiting and right would be at the end of the ray so while left smaller than right we are going to move to check um, to ha have a new calculation to calculate the uh, in current positions the, the sum so sum would be the current uh, value uh, number we are waiting plus the current number at the left index and current number at the right index so at their sum together we compare if absolute value of this sum minus target is smaller than the absolute value of the previous closest sum minus target. And we are going to update the closest sum to this sum. So that's um, the sum that's even closer to the target. So we are going to update. And after that, if we, it's previous closest sum is still closest to the target, we don't do anything. So if the sum is smaller than the target we can move the left uh, right forward otherwise we should uh, make left left forward so like if some uh, greater than the target we make uh, the bigger number to the left and uh, after the final uh, the iteration we going to return this closes sum so that's this uh, code so let's quickly make some uh, check before we submit 
let us check if there are some typos. So at the beginning, we check if there are some edge case, if an uh, invalid array, and if the uh, input array have uh, less than three numbers, we return some invalid in number. And then, as we said, we sort the array in ascending order, and we calculate uh, initialize the closest sum with the uh, first three numbers at the beginning and then we are have uh, this iteration so iterate from the beginning to the end of the array so whenever we visiting a number we are going to have a left and right we are going to check the rest of the array to check the rest of the array find the two numbers add with the uh, this current number we are visiting to check to compare their sum the difference of the, their sum and target with the previous closest sum and the target so if the this sum is closer to the target so we are going to update this uh, uh, closest sum to the current sum value and if the sum is smaller than target that means uh, so we can move the smaller number bigger so make a left uh, plus plus right forward otherwise like a sum is greater than the target so we can move the bigger number smaller so right minus minus so uh, finally after this iteration we get the closest sum so return the closest sum so looks good let's click submit still in judging okay accepted so very cool so we successfully have the correct code to solve this coding problem so you see like this three sum coding problem is a follow-up question for the two sum like uh, you we derive the step uh, the algorithm step by step like uh, we use a uh, like a uh, popular two two sum approach two pointers to find the two numbers in rest array when we ever visiting a number and find their numbers their sums whether it's closest to the target so you see like there's a follow-up question for the three sum closest so just make more practice you will be more familiar and more confident to solve such a coding problem okay so that's all about today's coding problem three sum closest and uh, Thank you for watching and thank you uh, for subscription to Good Taker uh, um, YouTube channel. So see you next time. Bye.